Jake was doing all the roofs in my neighborhood. You know, I'm living in this neighborhood. There's some humble pie. Hey, he did he did a like an eighty thousand dollar roof Ooh. next door to a house that I owned at the time. And I thought these mo- these guys are my friends. If they need a roof, they're gonna call me. Well, I should have knocked on their but door. What do you think separates him as a top performer? What do you think that is it a is it a is it a skill set? Is it a mindset? Is it a is it dude, it's being fully present. It's being where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. Not not letting your circumstances dominate you. And so when you have a guy who knows what his job is, he's in his fucking zone. He's not trying to do all this other shit. He's not trying to fucking be little Bo Peep, feed all the fucking sheep. He's fucking in the neighborhoods at the fucking door. My name is Jake. I'm rich fucking forever. How'd you get a Lambo, dog? I didn't even think I was going to have a Lambo. You made it off a hardcore door-to-door. There ain't too many door-to-door sales professionals driving a Lambo. So you knock doors, you get results, you're at the top 0.1%. What's a great separator? You know, I just do it. You know what I mean? Like so many people, they want motivation, all those things. Like it was just out there. Dude, I lived in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It wasn't. It's not like pretty. It's not like, uh, you know, I had some magical sales trick, dude. Like all the people that said no to me one week. Well, six weeks later, when they see me in the neighborhood, every single day at the exact same time, that's when they went with me. So there's three words, pig-headed persistence. That's it. How does somebody grow that? What if they're soft as baby shit? What do they do? You know, it's, it's honestly, it's just a decision. It's, yeah. a, it's a day-to-day decision, because you, know, you know, never know what Rinse you're going to do every fucking day. Every fucking day. You know what I mean? Like, so like every day, like you don't know who you're going to talk to. But it's one of those things, like, when you set, when you can set your attitude and when you can set your mood that, like, no matter what... You know, no matter what happens when I knock on this door, no matter if they're addicted. All right, so knock my fucking door. You got me all hot and bothered here. I'm going to be a hard-ass homeowner, and you're not going to crack the nut right off the bat. Yeah, Sonny? Hey. What you want? What you want, Sonny? Hey, I'm so grateful you came to the door. Hey, I just wanted to let you know. Um, Look, I don't need a damn roof. I'm not, no, I, w- I wouldn't want a new roof either. Who wants a new roof? You know what I mean? It's That's a that's a necessity, not a want. I wouldn't either. But what I wanted to come and let you know is that I'm actually flying a drone right next to your house. And I want you to know that I'm not going to be taking any pictures of your pool or anything like that. So I just came here to give you, you know, to inform you that I'm going to be flying a drone of your house, not to, you know. No, I don't want you to get... Goddamn upset. drone hunters, I swear to God, that damn CIA blue board didn't bullshit and dog people knocking on my damn door didn't know it was a roof scam. No, I, and I, hey, I completely get it. Roof scam. But what that does, that drone keeps us safe. You know what I mean? So we, we, it you know, helps with insurance liabilities if I'm not up on somebody's roof. And a lot of times people think that, you know, if I'm up on their roof that I'm breaking tiles. So it's kind of a, it's insurance for the homeowner and for us. Look, man, insurance, my business. You think I need a roof? I don't need a roof. No, and I can completely agree with you. Like, I wouldn't think I need a roof either. But here's the reason why your neighbor's got a new roof. So now actually what happens, you have a, they have a discontinued tile. And from the looks of it, you've got the exact same tile. So even from a few broken tiles, we can't actually go in there and do a certified repair. So that's why I'm getting your Oh, man, you just going to have to give me your business card. No, I, and I, I, would be, I would be glad to. But it doesn't even really matter if, I get, if you don't want a new roof. But what it does is there's actually a lot of people in your neighborhood that can't even sell their home right now because they're not passing a roof inspection. So a new roof, nobody wants a new roof. Like, you're completely right. But the value that it adds to your home for your family in the long run, I mean, can you put a price on that? But here's what I can do. While I'm flying the drone, I can take a few pictures of your house to see what's going on. Because a lot of times you can't see it from the street. Has, how does that sound? God, Dave, you make it sound pretty easy. Well, hey, let me, let me get started. I'll have the pictures for you in about 15 minutes. God damn it. Go ahead. All right. <laughs>